Tony Steele. This is my wife, Ann. We've been motorhoming, RVing for 23 years. I've had a lot of good experiences in the 23 years that we've been RVing, but my most memorable trip is the one we took to Vancouver, Canada, and uh, up the 101. 101. Most beautiful watching the whales, uh, going to the red tree, the big red forest. Um, just wonderful experiences, seeing elk. Eating, eating elk steak. <laughs> elk burgers. Um, knowing that there were bears in the park where we were staying and we were told not to put garbage out after three o'clock because they like scavenging at night. Uh, was both exciting and frightful to know that there were bears loose in the park. Um, we also came back through um, Minnesota, what, Yellowstone? Yeah, came through Minnesota, Yellowstone uh, National Park. I uh, went uh, to... Part of Montana yes. that we had not seen before. Saw all those motorhomers, I'm sorry, all those motorcyclists at Sturgis for the National uh, Motorcycle Rally, the Harley Davidson Rally. That was an exciting return trip from up north. And the mountain with the president's face. Oh, the faces, yes, that yes. Was, that was exciting to us. Yeah. We have been involved with Nava from its conception in 1993. Three. Thank you, hon. <laughs> and, um, We've been to all but two rallies, I believe, in that 23 years that we've been involved with NARVA. Uh, I served as president from 2003 to 2007. I was the first, and so far, the only woman president of NARVA. That was an enjoyable four years. I am quite proud of the progress that we made during that time and the contribution that I was able to make. Uh, I also was the first um, designer and writer of NARVA's first constitution. I have a bucket list. My bucket list includes, during the next two years, having good health, the good Lord blesses me with it, to make the trip to our Western Region Rally up in Seattle this May our National Region Rally in Florida this July, and the 25th National Rally in Kansas in 2017. Since I'm the only driver, that's my bucket list. It's both long and short. It gives me two more years, 25 years devoted to both NARVA and RVing, and then I'm gonna hang it up and go on cruises. What about you? I will be following. <laughs> he says he will be following. He is a good navigator, and so I've enjoyed driving. I've been doing this now solely for about the last three years. Um, I enjoy, I think I'm a safe driver. I may not be the slowest driver on the road, but uh, it's quite a privilege, and I bossy. encourage, bossy, he says. <laughs> But I encourage all the women in Narva and anybody else who has a motorhome, guys, be patient. Let your wives learn how to drive. Teach them how to drive. You never know when you're not going to need that skill uh, to get you home or get you somewhere that you want to go. I thank the Lord for my willingness and ability to be able to do this. And I hope to hang it up but I'm in still pretty good shape. I'm not as old as he is, but I'm getting there. It's fun, been fun. fun. I wouldn't think of anything I'd rather have done these 25 years than what we've been doing. Thank you for the opportunity.
Well, we've been on the road for a number of years, and it was not until three years ago that we had our first blowout, thank goodness. We ran over the um, lift from a trailer truck that had dropped his lift on the street and it wedged between our back tire, and we had our first blowout. But we had a good experience because the repair person came 100 miles to change our tire and get us back on the road. Okay. Also bought a new tire and installed it. Oh, we what, had, what we had another incident. Yeah, what was surprising was that he installed the tire within 20 minutes. Yeah. I was amazed at that young man, how fast he did that job. His boss was unhappy, but <laughs> we were very well pleased. Yes. We also had another incident. Um, last year, returning from the East Coast, um, we had a hitch problem. We had lost a couple of bolts, and when I made a stop, the hitch did that. Brought the car up to almost the rear end of the coach, like that. And we couldn't get service, it was too late in the afternoon, and we went into a park. Once we took the car off, nothing was damaged, so we went in a park and we were telling the park manager about our problem. And so once she placed us, we were in for the evening, we got a knock on the door, and it was the husband of the park director. He asked, what's your problem? We told him, he said, I'll take care of it. I'll go in the morning, and buy your bolts, and come and put them on. And he did. He knocked and said, I'm finished. I said, what do we owe you? He said, nothing. So park grounds are safe places to be. They're often very, very friendly. Um, I've never known anywhere that we've been anywhere. People were not very receptive. No. They always are. I think RVers are a different breed of people, if you'll allow me to say that. Just Kinda. raise your hood if you go into a park. You get all the attention, you get to meet a hundred and hundreds of people. Because they all want to come over and say, what's going on, sir? Looking in your engine with you. And we have met a lot of lifelong friends from that same experience, no matter where we're going. And we've been all over the country except the East Coast up in Maine. 